today is uh, Chief Oteri, Lieutenant Police, uh, Detective Lieutenant um, Lenny Copperath from Massachusetts State Police, Deputy First Assistant Tom Flanagan from the Plymouth County DA's office, and my name is Tim Cruz and I am the Plymouth County DA. Just before 1 o'clock on Friday, the Plymouth Police received a request for a well-being check to be done on a family member living in an apartment at Seven Tide View Path in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Upon arrival, Plymouth Police found the lobby door to the apartment building locked and found a maintenance person to let them inside the building. They arrived at apartment number six and they knocked at the door. There was no response. Police tried the door handle, found it to be unlocked. Upon the entrance to the apartment, they found the female victim in this case, 76-year-old by Becky Rasmussen with obvious trauma to her body. The Plymouth Police uh, notified the state police in my office and an investigation began. At about 11 p.m. on Thursday night, neighbors that were interviewed during the course of the investigation stated they heard a female screaming. This screaming appeared to be coming from the vicinity of Ms. Rasmussen's apartment. Through interviews on scene, state police and the Plymouth Police determined that the suspect in this homicide to be a 24-year-old young man by the name of Tyler Hagmeyer, H-A-G-M-A-I-E-R. State police have issued a bolo for Hagmeyer and his silver Prius. Police have contacted Hagmeyer's family members in Western Massachusetts. State police have responded and located his silver Prius parked alongside the French King Bridge in Gill, Massachusetts. Interviews with witnesses at the scene on the bridge last evening indicate that people heard a splash into the water at approximately 10 o'clock. They have not, however, found any body. And we believe, however, that it may have been him that have jumped. State police and search teams were back at it today, searching the Connecticut River. We've been in touch with the Northwest District Attorney's Office and their state police assigned to them, as well as District Attorney Dave Sullivan from there. And I want to thank them for their help uh, in trying to uh, come to an end to this investigation. Weather, effort, weather has hampered our efforts in bringing out helicopters, uh, but no body, like I said, has been recovered at this time. And this remains an active and ongoing investigation. The state police are still at it as we speak, uh, executing warrants and talking to people. This was a vicious attack. Ms. Rasmussen appears to have been stabbed, according to preliminary medical examiner reports, more than 35 times. Her body was transported to the state police ME's office yesterday, and when we get more information, we'll release that a little bit later. We believe that the man, as I said, the primary suspect in this case is a man by the name of Tyler Hagmeyer. We do not have a motive at this time. And why Ms. Rasmussen was the victim? We may never know why he chose to commit this violent act. The victim was a professor at Quincy Junior College and did not report for work on Friday. The school at that time notified uh, her family that she did not show up and that's what began the well-being check on Friday. Like I said, this individual has not been apprehended yet and we do not know if he has jumped off a bridge. But we do believe and we do know that he has significant mental health issues, as well as a significant criminal history of violence. I consider him to be a highly dangerous person. Anyone that comes in contact with Hagmeyer is urged to call the state police, the Plymouth police, or any local police. Do not approach him. Anyone with information regarding what may have occurred at Plymouth uh, the other night, please contact the Massachusetts State Police assigned to our office and or the Plymouth police and uh, the police that are working on this case. I do want to commend uh, Chief Boteri, the Plymouth Police Department, the Streets Crime Unit assigned to the Plymouth Police Department, the State Police assigned to our office, as well as the Crime Scene Unit that showed up and was there working uh, at the scene, as well as uh, working last evening in trying to locate uh, this individual. We will have a photograph uh, to submit to you for your review and to send out so people can help and see if they locate this individual. I'm going to ask Chief Boteri to say a couple of words and then we'll answer a couple of questions if we can. Chief. Thank you, Till. My name is Mike Boteri. I'm the police chief here in Plymouth. 
And I just want to speak to the public and want to ensure them that this does not appear to be a random act of violence. Um, as the district attorney mentioned, there's a clear connection between the suspect and the victim. And I want people to realize that we feel that the public is safe at this time.